Rock Metal Podcast, Episode 5, Your Own Decline. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm recording. Boom, Rock Metal Nation, I've got on the line today, Your Own Decline, a random rock and metal band from Modena, Italy. I'm super stoked to have them on. I am joined today by Ricardo. Ricardo and Giorgio. Uh, Hi there. And hey. Ricardo Bis, Ricky and Ricky, and Jay. You can call me Jay. Jay? All right, let's do it, yeah. Jay. Boom. Why simple. Don't... It is simple. Thank you. Why don't... <laughs> Why don't you guys tell Rock Metal Nation a bit about yourselves? Well, uh, in fact, uh, our band... Uh, with uh, your own decline name started uh, last year, 2015, uh, with uh, this uh, project of a uh, five track CP, rock, random rock and metal. Uh, but actually, we, we've been playing together for many long years. Since uh, two, uh, two, 2008. 2008 yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, we were playing in another project with uh, um, Italian and alternative rock. Then our uh, we became more. Uh, uh, raging, raging people. <laughs> hey, uh, our age uh, started to grow, so we we shifted from alternative rock to random rock and metal. So yeah. uh, we we thought that this uh, should be uh, uh, with with a band name. So with a band name change. Yeah, we changed everything because uh, we feel that we started to play that music because this music because uh, it's. Perfect for our for um, it, it was fitting our um, feelings and uh, you know uh, when you feel something uh, you have to sell it so that was like that at the moment and uh, we are now here that makes sense it does it does you guys got as I always like to say you guys got really angry at your dads and were like oh man I need to, <laughs> need to make some music that is inspiring towards my feelings and I mean music is from the heart or at least it should be. Yeah. And whatever it is that you can communicate will then resonate with your fans and your audience. So it's important and critical that, hey, if if there's a point in which I'm feeling a different way, well, then, you know, uh, in business, we call it pivoting. We're doing something a little bit different uh, yeah. because, well, we're feeling differently and we know that we have a message to send that might be different than it was before. And that's cool. That's OK, right? Exactly. Yes. In fact, we stay true to ourselves. <laughs> 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 which which we're going to talk about that, right? I love that, that song title of the EP title, Staying True to Yourself. It is so uh, positive. And a lot of metal bands aren't very positive. They're very dark and gloomy and like, oh, I'm mad at my dad. But when I saw, like, Stay True to Yourself, <laughs> I'm like, yes! Get some some positive messaging in there. Even though you guys are, you know, the rage is starting to grow, you're getting angry, right? But you can be angry about the negativity to bring more positivity into, you know, Spectrum, which I think is great. We hope uh, we, it could be better in the future, <laughs> because now we are uh, we feel so much rage uh, because uh, it's uh, life is difficult, no? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And then when you start to play something or uh, composing music, uh, you can. It's like to put your thoughts in a box, and that's. Uh, what we compose, compo- compose, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. compose, yeah, that is the word. Speaking of composing, you guys have been playing together since 2008, so coming up on 10 years almost, actually. Um, yes. What, aside from just anger, what inspired you guys to get into music? Work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> because when you when you you know when you go to high school, it's uh, more simple. Life is more. It's uh, more simple. No. Yeah. Yeah. Then you start to uh, approaching life, uh, real life, okay? And then uh, you start to feel um, more, uh, how to say? Stressed. 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 The routine. routine, uh, All the problems that came to you, so. Money. (laughs) And and then you compose metal. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. It just just makes sense. Yeah. uh, (laughs) Angst comes to mind, the word angst. Hmm. Um, and so like, yeah, you're, just, you're angsty and all of a sudden metal just comes out. It's weird, right? You know? All right. So what is, I mean, you guys have been obviously playing for a while. What's the story behind, you know, you guys finding each other, meeting each other, I'm guessing high school friends or how did that yeah, work? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, when we started, we, we started at high school. There, were, um, there was a, our local music school that were, um, started a band's project. So we, we came to that project and we, we, find, we found together. Uh, he came later. Yeah, in the, the beginning it was a lone wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was playing with uh, Ricardo here and uh, our other guitarist. Uh, and Pier Paolo that isn't yeah. here. <laughs> and, uh, the, the project, was, the, the lineup was a little bit different. So we started like that, we were playing covers, basically, at the beginning. Then we started composing our own stuff. It was like hard rock, random hard rock. <laughs> and uh, always then then uh, he he joined us and uh, we published our first album always in the when we were in the high school uh, but we did situation. we did a hard rock uh, in 2008 and a hard rock album together 2009 oh, excuse me uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah uh, was- they play i knew i knew them they was playing uh, led zeppelin and uh, <laughs> Guns N' Roses, Guns Roses, 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 Roses and uh, Velvet, uh, Velvet Roller, Roller. and so stuff we, like that. So. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way to start playing covers, and then as you start to form together as a group, start experimenting with some originals, things like that. Now, with yep. the current name, Your Own Decline, what's the story behind that? Okay, cool. So that, that's that's nice. Um, uh, at the beginning. Of this story, we wanted to change the name because, uh, as we t- told you before, uh, we wanted a refresh in our story. Okay, with the clo- close a uh, uh, a chapter of our band life uh, da- da- okay. and <laughs> and start a new one. So we started thinking of what uh, really represent us the be- the, mm, the better. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we had a, a, a chat group where. We we put uh, we put in uh, uh, ideas, many many ideas, uh, everything that came uh, in uh, in our mind, uh, and then one day we we met up together and we tried to um, uh, look up the list, and we throw the decision away because n- none of them was uh, fitting our identity, and then we started to find uh, in the lyrics of our songs. And we found this uh, uh, lyric uh, phrase, which says, uh, it "says uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, he is the singer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, That's uh, why he doesn't know the lyrics. Okay, no, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I was thinking, uh, <laughs> um, you uh, you mustn't be uh, the advocate of your own decline. Ooh. It's the proposition. The, the proposition phrase. And then we we thought, yeah, your own decline, your own decline. It depends. Cool, yeah. sounds cool. And so <laughs> we decided, yeah, your own decline. It was a, a sound like metalcore <laughs> sound, and so we decided, okay, no problem, cool. But it, in instead, it, the meaning it's the opposite. So you don't have to be your own decline. Yeah, we are. Uh, we thought that we are the decline of uh, uh, shitty music. I, I don't know how to say. It's difficult because uh, the, um, the the people who try to take you down, mm-hmm. uh, you you should not uh, follow them. And uh, uh, if you if you follow them, you cause to be yourself, uh, your own decline. So. You don't have to be your own decline like that. So yeah. you, you, that that's the the point I think. Yeah. Now there's lots of words we could use. Adversary is a word that comes to mind, um, mm. which is a almost a not, not exactly an enemy, but a fancier word, you know, than enemy. But you know, somebody who is trying to do you wrong, uh, mm. you know, yeah. consciously, right? An adversary is more like somebody who's potentially challenging you to see if you're going to break, and if you give in, then you break, which is different than an enemy right but either mm. way i love that two big points there number one the lyric you mustn't be the advocate of your own decline it's it's it's, it's deep it's good stuff <laughs> and then you. you're quite welcome <laughs> sir <laughs> <laughs> and you know the next part is a point that was actually brought up when i was on um, speaking with another band was they purposefully did not come up with a band name until they had written some songs and then looked back at the songs and said okay based on what's come out of us what is this, 
right? And so that's a really good point that you looked at everything and said, all right, well, none of this actually matches our identity. You went back to the songs and said, well, hold on a second. Look at this right here. This is amazing. Let's go mm -hmm. ahead and, and do that. So I think that's a really, really valid point. And going into the songwriting part, when you guys get together to write songs, what's that like? It depends. Maybe we start from a guitar riff and then uh, we, uh, we put on the structure of the song and then we came with the vocals and the lyrics. Or sometimes uh, he comes with an idea of a basic lyric and a, a vocal melody and then we start working on that. So we, it, it depends. It yeah. depends on the song. Okay. Yeah, there are there are some songs that uh, uh, born and grows in in a moment. Like if you listen to Delirium, the first uh, album song, the first EP songs, it, we composed it in uh, two hours. Mm. Yeah. Stay, oh, wow. uh, if you uh, listen to um, uh, every nice. night. Uh, we composed it in four months. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends, but uh, we start from a riff or an idea, and then uh, it grows like a tree, okay? <laughs> yeah. I meant a tree. <laughs> I meant a tree. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and listen to the first song, Stay True to Yourself.
right, guys, coming back from Stay True to Yourself, Brutal Track, I love it. What is the story behind that or the inspiration behind Stay True to Yourself? Oh, <laughs> Stay True to Yourself, uh, born with... Um, da, 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 And then I, I thought, wow, that's good. It represents uh, my rage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> And then I talked to Pierpaolo that uh, isn't here. Uh, I I say Pierpaolo because it's Italian, but if you want, I can say Pierpo. <laughs> Pierpaolo, it works. And then just hold up hold up the head. Pierpaolo, he's right here. Pierpaolo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, and, Pierpaolo. <laughs> Don't and, drop uh, Pierpaolo. That's, that's not nice. Uh, he dropped down. Okay. <laughs> and uh, then we started to work about these songs, and these songs start to talk about uh, our age. Our um, uh, we tried to born from ashes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, if you look at the um, uh, our EP, our EP, the EP cover. There is there's a phoenix. A, there it is, right there, a phoenix. Yeah, I was going to say, born from the ashes would be a phoenix. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, the the um, the lyrics uh, of the song belo belongs to our story as a band and uh, also as a singular person. And um, we we try to uh, keep the pick up the the pieces from that story and put a, in, put it in the, the song. Yeah, uh, our songs are are uh, based on real life. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, is nothing is invented. <laughs> invented. Uh, invented. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, invented or imagined. Imagined. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, because I'm, I'm good to write. I'm. Uh, I'm not so good to speak. Sure. Yeah. No. I mean, invented would be no different, right? Either way, you're taking something that doesn't exist yet and bringing mm -hmm. it into existence, right? So, um, and then yeah, a lot of metal bands are coming up with stories that don't exist, which is cool. But then you know, I think what's real and what connects with people is that it really gets to the heart and their core is when you write about your real life, thinking that nobody else has ever experienced it, and then people are like, "Oh my god, that happened to me too." They're like, "What do you mean that happened to you?" <laughs> no, it didn't. That's my story. Get out of here. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's it's good and it's real, and that's that's the truth behind it. Because staying true to yourself, well, of course, it should be a song about the truth and about yourself and about what's going on. Totally yeah. dig it. Um, anything else you guys want to add about that song or shall we roll into undertow? Mm -hmm. There is, there is a video clip <laughs> that uh, everyone can go and see on our uh, uh, YouTube channel. And we, we enjoyed much uh, uh, shooting that video. Um, because uh, it, uh, we, um, we first planted the, the story behind it. Okay, with the, with the story of the, the story uh, main, the main character of the of the video, uh, which goes through a, a journey. Okay, like a journey in the, in the video, and uh, it, it took us a lot of time. So it was <laughs> yeah. it was fun, but uh, very very di not di not difficult, but um, sleepless nights. Sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> because we uh, we recorded it uh, in uh, Modena. Uh, by night, yeah, because because of everyone work uh, working hours, so, so uh, we we were um, so tired t tired and uh, late but, at night uh, it was always dark. But with the right amount of rage, <laughs> <laughs> the right amount, the perfect amount of rage. Yeah, because uh, it, if you uh, watch the video of uh, "Stay True to Yourself," you can uh, watch a person who's working. At the beginning, he has white eyes because he has no soul, okay? And then at the end, he, he's uh, uh, tired of his life and he shoots himself uh, at the mirror. Okay. And at the end, you can see he has uh, his eyes again. It's pretty deep, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's pretty deep. All right, let's go ahead and go and listen to the second track, Undertow. <laughs> Like a glow, crashing into my soul, flashing into my 
right, guys. Same thing. What's the story behind Undertale? Let's talk about that. What's the story about? Uh, what's the story about Undertale? Undertale. Uh, it's, well, it's, uh, it's it's the first um, it's the first song we wrote uh, after we decided to change, change band name. The first song of the EP. It's the okay. first song. EP. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, one day, Pier Paolo came to us and says, uh, yeah, guys, I have new stuff. Listen to it. We ca- he came with uh, the track finished. Yeah, it was almost finished. The almost track. finished. Uh, then I did the melody and the lyrics. Mm-hmm. And uh, a new band is born. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, just like that. <laughs> but I don't know how to say about uh, Undertow. Undertow, uh, it's it's a sort of uh, trip, mental trip. Okay. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, you can listen to the lyrics in the chorus. Uh, it's like a dive, falling to the floor, burning the horizon, live in the undertow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's so um, like a sort of rebellion. Uh, because what I think about uh, of music here, I don't know, we live in Italy and then we play uh, almost in Italy, almost, no, um, per lo più. Ah, um, almost. almost in Italy. And uh, here, more, a lot of people play metal for, not for passion, but for, for uh, passion. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, uh, prestige or for money or for no, uh, no, money, not money. No. no money. Musicians no. Uh, don't no. earn money here. No. Okay, <laughs> no money for no music money. here. No, we, we do it only for passion because, okay. in fact, we work. We have a job. Yeah, we have a, sec- a, a second, second job, job apart, <laughs> apart music. music. Yeah, unfortunately, but and so it's a sort of uh, trip, mental trip about music and the uh, life situation about music and this job. Very cool. What exciting news do you guys have coming up for Rock Metal Nation? Ah, exciting news. We Now we are trying to uh, composing new stuff. Yeah. We a lot of, of idea, but it's difficult to, uh, to get down together. To get down together. But we, we are trying. We are yeah. trying to <laughs> do better stuff than what we did, okay? Mm-hmm. We always try to improve ourselves. Um, now we are we are going to um, to play some gig here in Italy. Yeah. But if you if someone wants uh, to call us to play out, we can, we can we can go. Sure. Okay, he has a plane. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't have a plane. I don't have I'm money. <laughs> What's your, your website where more people can, uh, who are in Italy and may not even be in Italy, find out more about you? Yeah, uh, you're on the Okay. Uh, that's our main website, which is more like a landing page for our um, Facebook page and Twitter account, uh, YouTube um, page, YouTube, uh, Instagram. Uh, we're basically on every main social network, so we, we like also to interact with people on social networks, so uh, come and find us. Very cool. All right. Well, guys, unless you have anything else you want to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for coming on to the show, taking time out of your day to share your creativity with Rock Metal Nation. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Rock Metal Nation, it is John from, well, the Rock Metal Podcast. I just wanted to thank you for listening to Episode 5, coming into July, the second month of the podcast. Thank you for being a listener. Thank you for being a subscriber. I appreciate you. I wanted to quickly let you know that we do have a website now. It is rockmetalpodcast.ca. So if you want to go ahead and find the show notes, information on the bands, things like that, there is a blog set up where you can go ahead and hear all of the episodes, see all of the links that were mentioned in the show, as well as anything else that might have been provided by the bands. That is rockmetalpodcast.ca.